Hey friends, I'm coming on real quick to do a Technique Tuesday with Close to My Heart products. I just wanted you to see that I made this card today and this is a coloring technique that I learned on YouTube from Jennifer McGuire. She has a YouTube channel and I thought, hey, I want to try that and I didn't. It's kind of fun how it turned out. Went for the rainbow effect around my flower and what you do is use your um, Spectrum Noir triple tri-blend markers to get this effect and or any markers in varying um, shades of color could do the same thing. So I'm just going to show you quick on a little sample what I did. So what I'm going to do is stamp an image, an outline image is what looks best with this technique. I'm using my Archival Black Close to My Heart ink and I'm stamping one of these flowers, kind of just centering it on a little piece of cardstock. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp off over on some spare paper here. But I like to clean my Archival Black ink with my Stays On Cleaner. So I do that. Kind of ink it up. It helps get off all that ink, otherwise the stamp would be super black if I just tried to use regular cleaner. Then I have this old washcloth that I use for my solvent inks and just kind of wipe it off after I've let the uh, stays on cleaner go in. And then a lot of times I will follow it up with my stamp cleaner just to get any residue off of there. I sprayed that. And then I have a simple Dollar Tree um, kind of chamois cloth that I use to just wipe it off. And it still leaves some ink um, dye into the stamp, but that's okay. And then I put it back on this pad. It's all clean. La da da. Saying I have a low battery. We'll see if this gets recorded. And then I'm just going to grab a color. I just grabbed a purple. Oh, big surprise. <laughs> and all you do is it's a dot technique. So you start with your darkest color. You're going to just dot around the outside edges. And now you could use the same technique on the inside of the flower as well. But if you're like new to alcohol ink markers or you're like new to coloring and you're like, ugh, I don't know, I'm afraid to color, try this out because it's very fast and it gets effective results. Now in the interest of time and my video running out, I'm going to go to the next color, which is the mid color and I'm using the hydrangea blend and I'm starting like I said from dark and then going out so now I'm doing the mid color I'll do this around the whole flower but I'm just want to get this down to show you the technique and kind of go with the shape of the petals when you're going out from your color kind of did this one halfway <laughs> I'll go back in and then I like to have some dots out there with some white space in between too. So then I'm going to come back in with my lightest, and make sure you look, the light color. And then if there's like empty white space in close to the petal, I go in and kind of fill that in a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to pull out the dots, the light dots out here pull them out, out here, kind of keep that shape of the petal. I got a little carried away. And then you can go out as far as you want. Like that. And then 
what I do is after I was done, I went back in and just made some random dots with the mid color out into where it's really the lightest. And then also filled in anything where I thought, oh, I want to fill it in a little so that the white's not showing real close to the edge there. And then I took the darkest color again and dotted some random dots going outward so that it kind of has a nice blend and pleasing to the eye when you look at it. So I will finish this, but I may have to um, charge my phone a little. So that is what it looks like so far. And it's a neat technique. It makes that white out, you know, white, um, just black outline shape kind of pop. And it's fun and quick and can give you a different look to put on your cards or scrapbooks or wherever you're putting your stamped images. So that's my technique for Tuesday. Technique Tuesday. Goodbye and have a good day. I may add to this. Okay, I'm continuing my demo here. I realized in watching my video how far away it was, so I moved my phone camera closer. And I'm going to continue to show you this technique. Now, like I said, the, and I'll try not to wobble my camera, the dark color I am putting right up very close to the edge of the stamped image. I realize I'm wobbling my phone, which I am sorry about. So you get an idea of what I'm doing. And <laughs> really where my phone is, it's right in the way. Oh, I might have to readjust and uh, zoom it in so I can color easier. Okay, I am back. So I moved my phone up and now I've got it on zoom, which actually probably gives you a better view anyways. So as you can see, I'm sorry it's wobbling. I'm going to continue doing the dots. This is with the darkest color of the marker. Now if you don't have the tri-blends, just pick three markers that are gradiated in color from darkest to lightest. And you can do this technique with um, water-based ink markers and alcohol ink markers. So you don't need to have the alcohol ink markers. You can have other kinds of markers. So now I'm going to pull open the mid-tone and go through and dot that out. Like I said, roughly following the shape of the flower petals. going with the light tone and like I said before kind of going in filling in some of the white areas that are closer to the um, outline edge and it's best to pounce up and down straight up and down with your marker otherwise you might get an elongated dot and you probably don't want that look bit more and earlier I apologize for having my dirty rag sitting out for most of the video and now I'm um, in the middle of saying that and um, also just not being close enough so 
I am learning as I go. So now this is that mid-tone. I'm gonna pull it out and put some dots further out, just more spaced apart. And I'd already done those flowers over there. I mean those petals on this side. And now I'm going to pull the darkest color. Oh, where's my video? There we go. Um, and I'm going to put a few of those dots kind of going out further. Which then helps it to all kind of blend cohesively together. Then you kind of look at it and go, hmm, is there any... Where else I want some dots? Alright. Now this piece... I would mat. Let me see if I can grab a scratch piece of cardstock. You know, I could mat it on a piece of cardstock. Not that this is the color I would probably use, but um, I'm thinking a piece of black would be real sharp. Then that's going to make that flower even pop up a little bit more from the page. And just use this in making a card or make a little gift tag or something like that. So. There you go. I'm going to show it really close so you see all my dots. And that is the dot coloring technique. I don't know if it has a special name, but let's just call it that. Dot coloring technique. All right. Have a great rest of your day, evening, or whenever you're watching this. And... Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos from me, comment below, click subscribe and follow, and that will help me to start growing my YouTube channel, and also I will put some information about my Close to My Heart um, website, so that if you want to shop for any of these products, we sell the TriBlend markers through Close to My Heart. And as I mentioned before, this is the current stamp of the month. Let me zoom out so you can see. This is a page from the current book. And this is only good through the end of August. And so the price of that stamp set is $18.95. However, if you place a $50 or more order, then you can get the stamp set for $5. And it's a very cute, versatile stamp set. There's so many different things you can do with this one. So, hope you liked the demo, and see you again sometime. Thanks. Bye-bye.